Hey, so today's video is about the LA500 Opto Compressor from JLM Audio. We're going to be working on the slow attack mod kit that you can get for it from JLM. So this video is going to be solely focusing on the process of the install and we won't be talking anything about the operation of the opto compressor or the slow attack. And don't forget guys, if you enjoy this video, go ahead and like and comment below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it. To get started, we're going to take out the potentiometer that came with the mod kit and bend the leads so that they are all bridged together. You're basically going to make three of these, get them as close as you can, and then you're just going to use solder to physically connect them together. Now that that's all done, when we've got that prepped, next you're going to remove the knob on the front. Now, I used an IC puller because I find that a great tool to pull knobs off with. If you don't have something like that available, they're very inexpensive to purchase, and they will come in handy later if you ever need to pull ICs out of sockets. But if that's not in your future, you can use any type of pry tool. Just make sure it's not made of metal, preferably something that's plastic or soft so it doesn't scratch or start to burrow into the plastic on those knobs. Once you've got that off, just take the nut and washer off. Next, you're going to desoldering the wires. When you desolder them, make sure you can try to save the wiring if possible from the yellow and black wires. You don't need to snip those off. Uh, it'll come in handy later on. And you can go ahead and take that knob and put it aside. Once we've got our old potentiometer out, we'll go ahead and mount the new pot in. Once that's in, Go ahead and snip the blue and white wires on the potentiometer at the top from the one and two pin section. Now I recommend snipping them instead of desoldering uh, because we're going to need those bridges there and we're actually going to be trimming these wires up a little bit anyways. Once you've got those removed, you go ahead and eyeball about the mount you're going to need to leave and then go ahead and snip the excess off and strip those wires back. Leave enough excess on that wire so that it can actually create the bridge across like we had on the top one. Now we're going to go ahead and focus on the top potentiometer. Go ahead and take the 100 microfarad capacitor that came with the mod kit and bend the legs 90 degrees. Now the tutorial that they provide, which I'll leave in the description below, explains that it is a polarized cap and that you will need the negative lead towards the back and the positive lead in the middle. However, ours was a non-polarized cap. So I went ahead and put the negative lead, which is the shorter one, on the back and soldered the taller one in the middle. Regardless of what you get, you're going to need to solder it in that fashion. Make sure that the solder on um, those crosses that bridge. Now you may have an existing one already, but it may make it easier to just go ahead and double up on that anyways. Now we're going to attach two wires from the board onto the switch. It's a pretty short distance and you won't really be using much of the wire that they provide, but it's nice to have. Now, when you're stripping these wires, you're going to be attaching them to the underside of the PCB, and there's not going to be a lot of surface for you to deal with. So I recommend when you strip them to leave a small amount of copper available if you're wanting to try to get them in a 90 degree perpendicular fashion. I did that one way and on the other one I just put it across the lead and soldered it on. One way looks nice, one way looks less nice. Either way, you're going to go ahead and attach the red wire to the middle pin of the middle trimmer. After that, you'll go ahead and attach the black wire to the top right corner of this diode array. 
Once you've got both those wires soldered in and they feel nice and mechanically attached, you'll want to go ahead and attach them to their respective points on the switch. For the black wire, it's going to be the backmost leads, and for the red wire, it's going to be the frontmost leads. Again, make sure that these sections are bridging if they're not already. And now we're going to reattach the yellow and black wires that we desoldered from our pot earlier onto our new replacement pot. Now you should be able to attach the yellow wire to pin 3 and then use the extra lead from the black wire to create a bridge between pins 1 and 2. If not, go ahead and make sure that pins 1 and 2 are bridged and the black wire is attached to either one of those and then the third pin is attached to the yellow one, effectively replicating exactly what you had before with the pot earlier. If you're happy, go ahead and attach the knob onto the front and you're ready to go. Now a couple of things to keep in mind about this modification. The link switch was originally on the threshold knob, but it has been moved down to the makeup knob. Now the slow attack mod that we've just added is actually now on the threshold knob. So to pull and push in will activate and deactivate that function. One of the reasons they said that they did that was so you were able to hear it quickly and easily. And I agree, it's a nice addition. Another thing to keep in mind since we replaced the makeup knob, the original potentiometer was a 40 detent pot. The one that we replaced it with doesn't have any detents, it's a smooth move. If you know what I'm talking about, the detents are the ridges when you're turning the knob and you'll feel that click, click, click. This had a 40 detent. Normally you'll use that to count in if you're writing notes to recall a function. You'll say 22 clicks clockwise or 20 clicks counterclockwise, whatever you want to put in there. That is effectively gone and you're going to go with the more 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock type uh, designation. Uh, just something to think about. I did like the 40 detent function. I think that's really cool. but in exchange for that ability, it's nice as well. All right, that about does it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.